Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Okay, I cannot believe it is VIB time again. I cannot believe that the Sephora VIB sale is right around the corner and that it is time to splurge at Sephora again. So I love to make some recommendation videos for you. Um, I'll do a Sephora VIB haul video and but I really wanted to put this video out there so that you can have some things on your wish list or in your cart before the sale starts. It's VIB Rouge, then VIB and then Beauty Insider. So um, I, I've just compiled some things that I think that are great things to stock up on when there's a sale or some things that are like maybe a little bit more expensive so getting them for a little percentage off is totally worth it um actually i wanted to get one more thing now that i'm thinking about it a lot of skincare skincare is really expensive and it's really crucial so let's just talk about um and let, okay so i don't even know where to start let me talk about a hair product that i think you have to get um especially if you're like me and you have really fine straight flat hair that just doesn't hold any curl I mean there's nothing wrong with it but it does not hold any curl the way memory mist has changed my life I have talked about it recently in a favorites video about how when I started using this I could go three days with like keeping my curl so I'm like heat styling less I'm washing and stripping my hair less and I can just be I can sleep a little bit longer I can be a little lazier and I can still have like good hair so the way memory mist is a must-have and then I always think the VIB sales are a great time to stock up on fragrance and if you're looking for a summer fragrance I think that Pinrose um, Sun Saint is one of just my favorite fragrances ever I love layering this um, with C the Pinrose Secret De Genius but for summer this is so beachy and so fresh and so summery that I just think you would love it and I think a lot of people could wear that very successfully okay in terms of skincare something that I love but for whatever reason, like don't love like paying for it, um, is the Caudalie spray. They're grape water like that soothes and moisturizes the skin. And it just is like so refreshing. Oh, I love it. And with these things, you should always spray down and let it like fall on you instead of like spray in front of you. Oh, it's so refreshing. It smells divine. I love Caudalie, their whole line. I think I, you don't, I can't, you can't go wrong with their line. For everything that I've used, I have really, really loved. But that spray is the thing that I just keep repurchasing and repurchasing. It's so refreshing, especially in the summertime. And then it also too disrupts any like cakiness, flakiness, packed on look that your makeup might have. When you spray that, it just really refreshes your face. So I love it. In fact, I know a lot of people are fans of the Tatcha's like spray. I'm not a fan of that one. I'm I would much rather do things like this or like Mac Fix Plus. But the Caudalie is actually really good for your skin. Um, okay, I have a couple moisturizers that I think are really worth checking out if you haven't checked them out yet. One is the Biosance Squalane Plus Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. This is a beautiful moisturizer. This is I, any skin type can use this and it preps your skin so great to receive makeup and just to have makeup look really flawlessly on top of it. You don't have to use very much of this um, and it's not super crazy like emollient. Um, you can see I've been using mine. It's more of like, yeah, it doesn't even really have a smell either. It's more of like a gel. Um, a gel and I out of all the oils squalene's my favorite I think it's the lightest weight like lightest in terms of all of them and the fewer people have a problem with squalene oil than the other ones like some people are you know the argon breaks them out or marula breaks them out but I rarely hear about people having an issue with squalene so um, I think this is a great one and this is not cheap so getting it on sale is a great idea the other moisturizer that I've just been obsessed with this year is the SK2 Essential Power Rich Cream. This is a really heavy emollient cream and as my skin freaks out or as it's really dry or the winter's been really dry here, this has been a lifesaver. You can see I am like on, it's a good thing that sale is right around the corner because I am like going to be scraping the bottom of the barrel. 
this is definitely on my list to replace this even though I have 20 unopened moisturizers. I guess I better rethink that. Even just saying that out loud makes me feel a little bit sick. Um, I don't know. I won't be repurchasing this, purchasing this. I will make myself use up some other things. Um, just having a little converse, just having a little reality check with myself. Don't mind, don't mind the self talk and the self, um, conviction happening right now. Um, okay. In terms of skincare, the it bye bye under eye eye cream, the best eye cream in the universe. I've never had an eye cream that I like better right now. I am also using the Biosance one, this, the squalling one, which is really nice and everybody raves about it, but it doesn't hold a candle to my it cosmetics ones. And you can see that this is like, I don't know if you can see that that's like mostly empty. Um, or it's about, I probably have a, a quarter left in here. No, no scent. It's so hydrating. I like goop it on under my eyes about five minutes before I go to bed and then just let it soak in. And by the time I'm actually like in bed, it has totally soaked in and hydrating those under eyes. Speaking of under eyes and speaking of like luxury splurge, my favorite thing right now of life is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm hydra gel eye patches 10 minutes with these bad boys and it is life changing how many are in here I think there's like 30 or 40 oh 30 pairs 60 patches so I probably do this like every other every couple days every two or three days usually either right when I wake up in the morning or right before I go to bed. If I'm not going to do, if I do an eye patch, I don't usually do an eye cream. I just do it. But I love these in the morning, right when I wake up, I'll kind of like roll over. And I don't know about you, but I send, I spend like 10 minutes in bed, just like on social media or like checking my emails or like looking at my calendar. So I'll put these on, leave them on for 10 minutes while I'm just kind of dilly dallying in bed before I like get up. These are actually on my nightstand. If that tells you anything. Okay, one last skincare item that I think is like so crucial, especially going into summer, um, is the It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor. This is their SPF 50 plus, and this is a tinted sun, I like love it when I almost drop stuff, and then I make these crazy faces on accident that are all caught on camera. <sighs> okay tinted sunscreen it's so beautiful you can wear this by itself if you don't like a lot of full coverage or if you're going to the beach this is the perfect thing to wear to the beach put your sunglasses on call it good it's going to even out your complexion a little bit but it is going to give you spf 50 protection so a lot of times like i'll just slip this in my beach bag and i'll keep reapplying on my face because there's not enough sunscreen in the world to um, convince me that like I can expose my skin to the sun. So if you ever see me, in fact, actually, this was really funny. Um, last month at Gen Beauty, I was with Danielle and Nicole. I'll link their channels down below. And then Danielle's boyfriend, Snow. And Danielle and Snow are like my siblings. And Nicole's like a new friend. But I don't even care. We were sitting outside eating. And it was on the like roof or like on the outside roof deck of LA Live in the bright full sun and I'm like eating, eating, eating. And I, but I, all I can think about is like, oh my gosh, I'm getting sun exposure. And I was like, okay, you guys, I have to go inside. Or I was like trying to eat like this, like eating my hammer. And I'm like, there is, I, you guys, I'm not equipped. I'm not emotionally equipped to be in this much sun. I cannot be out in the sun. Like I've got to get in the shade. Like I've got to get inside. Like I cannot expose myself to the sun. I was being so drama and so high maintenance, but that's how I really am. I don't go out in the sun. And if I do, I'm like fully covered. When I was in Hawaii last month, I was like head to toe. Like, I mean, I had a bathing suit on and then an SPF 50 and then a huge hat on. I don't know why that doesn't ma matter. I, but anyway, this is my favorite <laughs> tinted sunscreen. And scene. A couple makeup favorite favorites that I think are so worth the splurge right now and so great. These Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighters. This one is in rose gold, which is probably like one of my favorites. Hold on, let me twist it up because I've been using it so much. So you can see how pretty that is. The, I love them. Honestly, I think these are probably one of the best cream highlights I've ever used. And in fact, I'm testing out their foundation right now. This is the Hourglass foundation, the Vanish like foundation, and I got shade Vanilla. Well, that's good that you can't really see it, but it's swatched right there. Um, it's so hard to choose shades online. You guys, does anybody else like really struggle with that? I'm a working makeup artist and I have a hard time. Um, okay. The Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Eyeshadow Toppers for eyes, lips, and cheeks. If you don't have these yet, 
get them. They are amazing. Gray brown is so beautiful on its own, but in terms of like color payoff and like sparkle payoff, girl, you got to go with nude. It is all of the sparkle feels. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Look at that. And what's really interesting is that the, the Tom Ford for um, like spring, summer, his Soleil collection came out with, this is the golden peach cream and powder eye color duo. And these are really expensive, but let me show you. The top is the eyeshadow and it goes over the cream. It is a lesser version of the peach cream um, chroma crystal top coat. This is half the price, double the product, and double the sparkle. <coughs> Allergies. It's spring. Um, so I love the I love this Tom Ford duo, especially over the cream. But the Chroma Crystal top coat is the most beautiful diamond sparkle on the eyes that I've ever seen, and it is intense sparkle. You cannot go wrong with it. Why don't I just have like? How come I'm not prepared? Why don't I have like wipes out? Like why am I like going off camera out of screen to like try to find this stuff for you guys and just like kill my flow. Anyway, so I think that this is like such a great product and they've got great colors of those. Um, something else that I think is really fun for summer is these Dior Lip Glow uh, Color Reviver Balms. I, this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is 005. And it's more of like the lavendery lip balm. I'm gonna just swatch this. I just think these feel so good. And it develops, like it kind of deepens like over time in terms of color, but it feels like a lip balm. Gives you a little bit of like hint of pretty color. Oh yeah, it's turning into like a really pretty pink right there. And just as like wears really well throughout the day. Um, also from Dior is their Dior Show maximizer 3d triple volume plumping lash primer i swear this has made my lashes grow i don't have any scientific proof that there's lash serum in here but i have proof on my eyes that my lashes are longer they're stronger and they're thicker since i've been using this product so the dior show maximizer 3d is amazing and it's expensive so get it on that sale Last but not least, I think you should pick up a Natasha Denona palette. Any chance you can get these on sale, it's worth it. First off, they're worth the price. It's $8.50 a shadow in here. Um, it's just basically that hefty price tag up front, but these are full size shadows, water resistant, anti-aging, crazy amounts of pigment. Um, Lila just happens to be my favorite palette um, just because some of these shadows are, are so insane. I mean, give me a break. Look at that. So pretty. Leela also is, um, works for any hair color, eye color, skin tone, and any season. So you're getting kind of a very timeless palette that's very, um, just user friendly for everybody. Oh, I love this palette so much. Mine's so dirty. Sorry. It just gets a lot of use. When I see the new ones on Instagram all the time from people that have had them for a year, I'm like, why haven't you been using that palette? Why are you, why are you missing out? Like, don't save it just for the photographs. Put that stuff all over your eyes. So those are my recommendations for the VIB sale. Um, leave me what your recommendations are down below or tell me what's on your wish list. And next time you see me, it will hopefully be with my VIB haul. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the rambles. Sorry for the randomness, but it is what it is. <laughs> Bye.